There's my coffee. This reminds me of my very first vlog. So there's been a beef. <laughs> Can't even take it seriously. Hoop mixtape Isaiah Rivera. I didn't even say that right. Hoop mixtape Isaiah Rivera. Why does it matter? What's my take on it? You want to know? Well, watch right now. Nothing matters. Nothing matters. But the people need to know. The people need to know. Okay. So Hoop mixtape called out Isaiah Rivera for using low rims. Did he use low rims? Is that true? Fact number one, yes. On all his dunks, no. But a lot of the LA Fitness rims are 9.9 or such. And I put that in every single video description because I'm the best. Nobody can live up to my standards. But I'm not saying he lied. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm gonna show you my two sides of what I think's going on. So, Hoop Mixtape called him out because they think it's bad for the dunking culture because I, I feel this is my opinion. I don't even know if this is what they think, but it would make sense that they are trying to legitimize the community. So if people are dunking on lower rims, especially inventing new dunks, which I think is the main point is Isaiah's incredibly talented and he's invented new dunks, such as the 360 behind the back between the legs that was on a lower rim. So if people just keep lowering the rim, looking forward to the community and where dunking is going as a professional sport, it makes everything look skeptical. Then people that, that aren't as deep as we are in the community will see these dunks and immediately be skeptical that they're lower rims. Now, that's why I think Hoop Mixtape was angry and mad. When it comes to Isaiah, I think he put low rims and he tried it because he's trying to push the limits of the game. I think it's fine that he's doing it on low rims. Uh, I think maybe he should have put the height. I don't think there's anything wrong with saying, oh, I landed it on 9.8, 9.9. Um, now next up is 10 feet or 9.10. Every fraction of an inch counts, like I am quoted as saying. The only other thing is that he's trying to get views on Instagram. We have to remember Instagram is just a marketing tool. It's just something for him to raise his platform. If we, in the grand scheme of things, if he raises his platform to a million followers, then he becomes a professional dunker, one of the best dunkers in the world, which he wants to be, which is why I think it's okay. And dunking goes farther than we could ever imagine. And he was a big part of that because he was able to raise his platform. That's also good for the community. So should he have put the heights in the rim? Um, it's up to, it, it, to me, it's up to the person. Isaiah, if he, I, the reason why I think it's okay is because I believe Isaiah wants to be the best dunker he can be, which means 10 feet, which means competing in contests. He's not satisfied with that rim height. If he was, and he was trying to scam the community and trying to sabotage it, which he's obviously not, then I would be upset. Long story short, conclusion, both sides, Hoop Mixtape and Isaiah want to raise the dunk community. They're not trying to sabotage the community. They're trying to raise the sport. Isaiah might be trying to be a little more personal about it by raising his platform, but overall he wants dunking to be its own sport. He wants the best for the community. Who Mixtape wants the same thing. They both want the community to do things. That's how I see it. I always bring the love. That's all I know how to do. It's all good. I think it's a great sign that the dunk community is getting serious and legitimate, which is a really awesome thing for us. That it's, it started from just a hobby to it's getting something super super big. So if you're a part of it, enjoy the ride, spread some love, don't shit on Hoop Mixtape, don't shit on Isaiah. Everybody's trying to do it, have some integrity with yourself. And my community members, if you guys are watching me, put that damn rim height. We, we're not focused on that 9.9, we're going for that 10 feet. I've put it every single video, some hoops I measured wrong, sometimes I had my bounce wrong, but I'm always striving for that 10 feet. You know that, that's always the standard until our bodies evolve and 10 feet is like four feet because we're gonna keep getting taller and it's gonna get weird and gravity's gonna get less or something. <laughs> um, I don't think either one was trying to sabotage community. They both want to raise it. It's all love. Enjoy. Push yourself. Don't shortchange yourself by making progress by lowering the rim. Just, just have fun. Every milestone counts. Every fraction of an inch counts. Keep it going. And that's Dunk Life, baby. If you want more information on my training, check out my daily friggin' podcast where I fuel you every single day. And uh, here's some dunks from my past week. I'm fucking flying! And one more note. Dunk it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs>
going, keep it going. Hey, hey. <laughs> Literally exactly 10 feet, if not like a tenth of an inch under. We go by the tenths of inches on this channel. Your boy's rapping. I love basketball TV. Check me out as a coach. More videos coming soon. And on my channel, current goals, dunk easy on 10 feet in games, on people's entire skull cavity, dunk it on their throat, dunk it on their entire family, dunk it on my own team. I really don't care. I'm just dunking in games. One of the hardest things that I'm trying to do is make difficult things look effortless. Dunk life, dunk training, it's an art. And you have to create a path for yourself. I'm not saying you can't learn from others, that's what I've done, but you have to learn how to learn and learn how to train yourself because everybody's body's different. Everybody's path is way different. So that's where my insights are. So check them out. Hey, by the way, did you see this bruise? It was a 9-10 rim, but that's Vert Gaines right there. And gang, he's on. There he is, dunk like me. Hey! Find something in life that pushes you to be your best self. That's a dream you can't live without, because then every moment of work is enjoyable, because without that dream, you're just not happy. That's the type of dream I want you to go after.